Hi, this is the railway. Welcome. It's uh, very much a community pub in town. Oakham's a pretty small area in Rutland. Um, we're, we are, as I say, very much a community pub. Um, fair bit of passing trade from the station, the railway, opposite the station, hence the name. Um, we show a lot of sport, um, quite well known in the area for all the sport that we show. Um, since we came into the pub about six months ago, we've got a very good function room that is underused that we're trying to use to promote local music really, more than anything. Get people somewhere where they can go and listen to live music. It's, it's opposite the railway station. I think it was built about the same time as. It used to be a hotel back in the day. Been a funeral parlour as well, and now it's just the best pub in Oakham. We're starting to pick up on a lot more passing trades since we started to advertise the place a bit more, but it's very much a locals-led pub within the town. and We get people coming far and wide for the sports when we show the sports. We think, we're trying to trace it, but we can't. We think it was built around about 1845. Um, as I say, it was built in conjunction with the railway station or thereabouts by the Midland Railway Company as a hotel. Um, but from then on, it's just been various different guises. Hotel, as I say, funeral parlour, stables, coaching in sort of thing. Um, I'm in the process of trying to research the history at the minute, but it's a nightmare. There's a heck of a demand. There's, there's nowhere in Oakham, really, that can offer live music. Um, there's a, there is another pub that occasionally has live music on, but it's a very small place. They're very restricted in what they can show. And we've sort of like thought, well, we've got a function room. We've actually had bands asking if they can come and play it because it's very good you know, acoustically, so we've had three or four bands so far that have come and played it, and there's, there's a lot of young bands around here that don't really get a chance to uh, perform, and so we've got an ideal opportunity, really, to uh, come and play here. At the moment, we've got a jukebox, <laughs> um, and as I say, we tr we're trying to up the offering with, with the function room. We've, we've put, I think we've put four or five bands on, um, both in there and in the pub. There's a couple of local musicians who play acoustically and they're spot on just to bring in the pub of an evening and have strumming away. Um, but we've, we've managed to put a couple of bands on, but we're, we're sort of restricted in the kit we've got. They, if they haven't got their own kit, we sort of, apart from a, a few decent speakers, we can't really. We can't really give them a full setup, which is what I'm hoping to do. Oh, crikey. Um, I mean, it would be awesome. Uh, it would give us a chance. What, what I really want to do is equip the room out so that local bands and that can use it for practice space, rehearsal space. Um, one or two people that I've spoken to, they'll go to Leicester, Nottingham, Derby and hire rehearsal studios at ridiculous prices, 40, 50 quid an hour, I think. Um, if we're in a position in that room where we can let them use it, then, you know, use it. I'm not, so we can, we can offer it to them to use it free of charge. We're getting the room used, they're getting something, and it's keeping it local as well, which, you know, there's a lot of local bands around here that really do need to be given a chance, shall we say. Um, it would be on equipping the room out um, with a, I, I must be honest and say I don't know how much these things cost. I've been told 10 grand would get me a lot of kit, PA monitors, some decent instruments, you know, so that people can come in and practice, use its practice space, you know, young bands again. Well, not necessarily young, some old people still aspire to be musicians. You know, if we, if we can offer that room there, you know, come in, have a go, have a play. Um, we're trying to, I'm, I'm trying to organise a showcase for local bands so we can have a day with um, as many local bands as they can come, have 15 minutes, blast it out, inv invite as many 
you know, village halls, pub landlords, club committees as we can into the room so people have got a chance. If we've got something like a house drum kit, that sort of thing can move really quickly then instead of take all your kit out, bring all your kit in. If we've got a basic setup in there with a decent sound system, then hopefully things will be, go well. I'd like to be able to put one live band a month on, you know. Um, at the minute, what, we, what we've done at the minute, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep to a policy of not charging people to come in. So, at the minute, to be honest, I'm trying to keep higher bands as cheaply as possible to come and play, just to give them the exposure. You know, people, if people see, oh, come and see, who are they, five quid admission, if it's free on the door, then they're more likely to come. It gives the bands a chance to get seen a bit and people to go away and go, oh, have you heard so-and-so from down the road? They're quite good. Hopefully it brings enough extra people in just to buy a couple of pints and cover the cost of the band. Um, and, you know, everyone's a winner, really. Oh, crikey, I'll probably streak down Oakham High Street. Look what I've won. Um, no, I wouldn't. Um, no, it would be, I mean, we've got a website that's just about to go live. We've got a very good Facebook following. Obviously, there's local press. Um, they're very, with it being such a small community, not small community, but quite a tight-knit community, I'll give Rutland Radio a ring and they'll plug it to death, and the Rutland Times and the Stanford Mercury, you know, get, get it out there. But we're, we're quite lucky in that there's quite a large network. What we'd hope to do, at, at the moment, this area behind here is an old bar. So, ideally, we'd like to take that out. It's not really usable, it's not practical, and it's simply a case of taking out the, the countertop and that sort of thing. And we'd hope to be able to sort of like put some kind of staging area here, because then there's access for people to get behind into the bottle store, which, although it's not a changing room as such, it's a good area. Um, and then obviously it's, it's, it's a bit difficult at the moment because of the furniture in here to visualise it when we have a band on. The furniture comes out apart from the bench seating. Um, and we need to sort of really, bands, at the moment bands sort of like play at this end or if it's only a small two or three piece with not a lot of kit they tend to put themselves in that corner. Um, but in an ideal world I'd like to do some, something with the lights potentially and have a decent system in here that's set up. So if we could get some kind of stage built, that would be ideal.